Welcome back, everyone, to episode six of the 47th President series. So last episode, our network that we have in China shows us that there's two nuclear submarines that's en route to the Gulf of Mexico. So we are responding to that information. So we have a couple fleets over. Gonna send our nuclear sub over. And we're sending a fleet of submarines over. But that's not going to end the response. We are going to attack. We're going to put I'm going to place our own uh, submarines around them. So, that's going to be our response to, um, to China. And this is more than likely, their response is more than likely due to the uh, sanctions and tariffs that we put on them. So, last episode I also set up a meeting with the Chief of Staff, and we're going to get the nuclear codes, just in case um, China attacks, we're going to retaliate with nukes. So... Should be happening within the next couple of days. Uh, in the meantime, let's go to these terrorist groups. So let's go to the Italian Mafia and the Russian Mafia. And Put all these guys under surveillance. All right, and this group here. So it can only put six under surveillance here. All right, so that's it. And next, uh, I'm gonna look in the industry and actually, since we wanna produce more aluminum, we're going to need bauxite. So we're going to set up a meeting with Jamaica. Let's see if we can make a deal. Now, I would usually go to Guinea. Um, but I found that Jamaica, that I can actually get a better deal than even with Guinea. So Our sportsmen are ready.
Right. Huh. That's not to be. Alright, so. What the Every f one of the. There you go. Look. The activation code for the nuclear warheads is the following. Do you have a pen? Okay, so I have that code. Um. Thanks, you. Find that. We definitely want to make sure we keep him on our yeah. side. Sure. I just bumped into the head of the armed forces as he was coming out of your office. He looked very concerned. Nothing serious, I hope. Uh, why did I come here again? Oh, yes. Don't forget the dinner tomorrow night. I'm hiring a chef. Mmm, you will adore it. All right, so... Let's take a look at a couple things. Um... So the auto industry given a subsidy 6.2 we're going to make that 8 and custom duty for China all right, so we're going to put a 20% tariff on China. And... Computer hardware... Let's do a subsidy of $2 billion. All right, electronic components. Let's bump that up to 28. And so let's see where China is in terms of production of semiconductors. And tens. All right, so we're going to block. Uh, we're going to block exports and fuel cell batteries. Let's see where they are. All right, so then that's a little bit more than us, but we make enough for our own uh, consumption. They do not. So we're going to block imports. All right, so that was done, and... Let's see about pharmaceuticals. So they definitely don't produce enough, but I think we All right, so we're going to block imports for them. All right, and the other thing is rare earth oxides. 
So we're already given that a subsidy of 6.2 billion. So let's see. All right, so we make enough for our own consumption. So do they. So we're going to block exports. So we'll see how that affects their uh, economy. So I'm just writing down one point zero five. All right, so I just wrote down their growth, unemployment, and inflation. And let me just do their deficit seven point six two. So that way I can see uh how my policies are actually affecting them. The competition. Our services report a new conspiracy theory. All right, so let's go to that real quick. Start a new campaign. Okay, so what else can we do with farming? So we definitely need more cereals. So I'm going to go ahead and give another $2 billion. Uh, foul. I'm going to give that another billion. Um, let's see what else. Actually, with beef. Uh, okay, so we're just barely producing more than our consumption. So beef is going in the right direction. Fishing. Let's see. So I'll leave that where it is and let's go to the water supply networks. Let's give another 10 billion. Our sportsmen are ready. But if I may, a few words of encouragement before the Huh, that's not to be turned down. Okay, so we're going to purchase bauxite from Jamaica. And let's see. There's 22. Twenty five, twenty nine, thirty one, thirty three. All right, so two hundred and twenty seven million, and we actually meet our demand. Sure. So we'll end that meeting. A week from the beginning of the competition, our team is perfectly prepared.
We will take the games one at a time without. All right, enough of that. Okay, so where is all right. all right? They're still on their way. You have negotiated a splendid contract that will undoubtedly help improve our economy. Again, well done. Alright, so let's take a look at the inflation. Alright, that's starting to flatline. So. so we're going to bump that up by 1%. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to raise taxes. Uh, let's see. So, let's do the reform. Let's do budget twenty twenty three three All right, we'll make that twenty five. All right, so that didn't work right there. Our infiltrated agents had the chance to carry out a sabotage operation. A sort All right, so we're going to refuse that. And let's see. All right, so we're going to take... I'm going to take advantage of this to boost relations with... Gonna do the same thing with Russia. So we did that, and that should boost relations with both Russia and India. Good morning. B 
spear. Uh, what's the point? Like, they don't even produce enough, barely produce enough for themselves, so no, we're going to reject that. Our national company is a hit. The original... Alright, exoskeleton, we're gonna keep that for ourselves. And we're gonna try to sit with India. All right, let's take a look at this service. Actually, no. Let me go back to taxes. So... Let's take a quick look. All right, so Democrats are for it. So let's go with what's it? Twenty three, three point oh. going to have to increase this a little. Alright, financial transactions. Uh, let's see. All right, so gambling, we're going to bump that up to... one percent. Pornography, we're going to change that to 40. Entering the territory, we're going to make that $30. So, highway tolls. All right, so there's strong bipartisan support for uh, for this reform. So we'll leave it at that. Our sportsmen are. And then let's know. You're really pe The population affected by the disaster is in a very precarious situation. Must have lost a lot and even everything and are asking the state for help to survive. Okay, well, a week from the beginning of. All right, so 
Let's see how China's account. All right, so their unemployment went up. Their deficit went up. Inflation went down by a little bit, but yeah, our policies or our sanctions have um, really affected their economy. All right, so let's go to housing. So we're going to rehabilitate 100,000 homes. And let's go to energy. Oh, that's pretty low. So... So we have We won the competition. Have two more nuclear plants being built. Huh. That's not to be turned down. Thank you. All right, so let's see if we could get an alliance with India. And we do. Very kind. All right, so let's see about vegetables. And Let's start off with it. All right, so 39 billion for vegetables. That should help our economy. Let's end that. All right, so that didn't hit the, uh, didn't hit the contract list yet. All right, so we have about another month before the next quarter. And that's been taken care of. The mission was completed last evening, giving rise to a festive atmosphere in the control room. It must be said that the scientific team had every reason to be overjoyed at the complete success of their space program. The program director praised policymakers for having taken the initiative for this long-term scientific endeavor and for having secured sufficient means to guarantee its success. He called it a great success for our nation. Okay, so 
<clears throat> we need more natural gas and we definitely need more oil so so we'll build five uh oil wells i mean shale gas wells in mississippi All right, so that's done. The preparations are... One of my men succeeded in infiltrating Key Center. According to my calculations, the information or gained, in geopolitical terms, could be close to 2.73. All right, we'll refuse that. You're not bad. Very well. What kind of offer do you wish to make us? Very well, we accept your offer. Okay. Good morning! I didn't come empty-handed. In fact, I wanted you to see in order to submit to you this economic contract which, as you will see, is profitable for both our countries. Alright, they want to sell us foul, but again, they don't even produce enough for themselves, so we're going to cancel that. I'd be happy to give them a bottle of champagne and send them on their way. All right, so we need more oil. So that's average. So that's good. And so that's three. All right, so we did oil. So the next thing is we're going to build a hyperloop from Houston to Dallas. So that's going to cost 13 billion. So if we could do this in eight months, that's going to cost us 6.2 billion. China bought two nuclear missiles from Iceland. Um, Alright, so that's actually interesting because I don't believe Iceland has nukes at all. So, that's one of the things Eversim needs to work on with... Uh, who's purchasing nuclear weapons from somebody at least make sure it's a country that actually produces nuclear weapons or nuclear power so 
So just to go against China, um, we're actually going to put that out. All right, so what are they doing? All right, so he's now en route over here. The members of this organization are in no way involved in the assassin. Okay, so let's go to the UN on China. No possible way to follow up on your complaint. Now, what we will do is Embassy Abroad will close that and One of my men succeeded in infiltrating Key Center. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. Let me just look real quick. All right, so they need five billion more. We'll go ahead and send that. Um, like I said, I'm going to end this episode. Uh, so... Please subscribe. Please click the like. Feel free to make a comment and I will see you soon.